Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're in Milwaukee today at the World of Wheels and I got a great story for you with this one. This is Steve Stone and Steve, let me get a little closer to you, a little closer to the camera. Come okay. on up, come on up. Right. How many years have you owned this car? I'm the original owner of it. I uh, bought it, uh, in fact, uh, <laughs> uh, 59 years ago this coming Sunday. And uh, triple black, what do we have here? Uh, well, first of all, it's a convertible. It isn't that coupe thing. The Roadster, right? Yeah, we didn't want to have any coupe, so. <laughs> so about what year is it? It's a 63. A 63 coupe. Chevrolet Corvette Roadster. And now, one other thing, Steve. How many miles on this one? Right now, there's 610,000 miles on it. 610,000 miles. miles. So before I show you the car, let me just take you. This is everywhere in the United States that this car has visited right there. The original owner, half a million miles were achieved on October. October the 1st, 2012. And that's just amazing. Tell me what this picture is. This is you. Yeah, that's me in the uh, first uh, autocross in Cedar Rapids. I bought this car in Cedar Rapids. Uh, Collins Radio is that property. Uh, our club uh, did a, our first uh, autocross that uh, July, and so I was there Come on do, with me. doing my thing. Come on with me. Let's go right. right to the car. All right. Right over here. Yep. Come right next to me, and let's feature your car. So how did you know you needed this forever car? Well, we didn't buy them to keep them forever. When they, was, when they came out, I was still 18 years old. We talked to General Motors, GMAC, to see if I could get the financing. They said... If Dad co-signed, then I could get it, and Mom said Dad could co-sign. So without my folks uh, getting involved that way, they never put up any money in it. They uh, never, I never asked for a dime for it, but uh, Mom said Dad... Mom trusted Mom you. said that, yeah, and Dad. Well, once Mom gave you the okay, Dad yeah. had no choice. Dad come on said, with yeah. me. And so... Uh, come on with me, all the way back here. Come on, all the way back here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go, right next to me. Okay. And, so, and the reason why is the microphone's are right there. Okay. And so uh, once that was done, then I could order it. We, uh, I ordered it in October of 1962. They didn't build this until the middle of uh, February of 63. I took possession of it on uh, February the 27th of 63. Put 63,000 miles on it the first two years. <laughs> wow. So you, you love showing this car off. Yeah, this is, uh, this is what I like to do. Uh, we go to shows, but we also drive down the road, and any time we're on the road, it's a, it's a car show for people waving and, and, and visiting with us when we stop and things like that, so I don't blow anybody off. So it, it's been an instant fun maker yeah. for your entire life. Yeah. yeah. How good is that? It's, it's quite a ride. We, um, my wife and I have been married since 88, and... Um, she never was in Corvette before then, but uh, her and I travel now all, all the Maryland, Maryland, all over yeah. the countryside and Canada. We've been in all the provinces in Canada. She, she's got to love the travel. She does, and she's become more of a top-down person. I, <laughs> I, I've been known to be out in the snow with a top-down, so it's <laughs> kind of hard. Don't bring Marilyn out in the snow anymore, would you? For God's sakes. I know we're in Milwaukee. Holy crap! We I just came through some snow to get here. Yeah. And look at the pipes on this. And obviously those yeah. aren't factory pipes. Oh no, they're they had side pipes on them. Uh, you could order them. I didn't. I had original side she, pipes. She, two, two and a half inches. You exhaust. help her out so she don't get a snake bite on that thing. Yeah. Right? I we, mean, holy cow. We don't let anybody get burned on it. Yeah. Okay. So. We've got the right amount of pedals. Yep. That's great. You knew you needed a four speed. Yeah. And let me just show people. We don't have the original in. You have the original engine, but yeah. just not in the car. No, it's it's uh, tired, but and it's too too much compression. It's originally eleven and a quarter to one compression. Now I'm running a ten to one. Right there's these gas. there's the sixth time, seventh time technically you've seen the ten thousand number. Yeah. Because it started with you know zero yeah. ten thousand and then. One, two, three, four, five, six. They didn't have enough digits. To look at. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think it would go this far. Yeah, it wasn't designed that much. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
What a treat, this though. Still, this is still the original. That's, you're looking at the original gauges and everything on that. Yeah. That's still all original. And the clock still works? The clock was digitized years ago. Oh, okay. It's not working, so I had things digitized. Yeah, all right. I've got a different radio in here because the original radio didn't work right. So yeah, I'm no. I'm aftermarket. I have iPod. I can hook up. Yeah, there. Steve, I'm going to give you a pass on not having all the original equipment after yeah, 610,000 miles. Well, it either <laughs> works or, or it's out of here. I can't yeah. leave it works. It, it works or I'm out of here. Oh my goodness. You're hysterical. What a great story. What what of the story? Speaking of the story, I'm gonna to continue to show some of the car. What are some of the most amazing stories of this triple black Corvette? I mean, when you're you know, like that you remember like, hey, we're in Niagara Falls or something like that. Steve, come on back with me. We we uh all of our travels are different in the country. We've been in all. We've been in the deserts. We've been in the mountains. We've been up the top of Pikes Peak. So everything is is uh, is good that way. Um, I, to ha to say that there's one trip is better than another, I can't put that. But okay. I like the ocean. I was born in New Jersey, actually, and I I uh, like ocean stuff. So anytime we're about around the ocean, it's great. We've camped on Assateague Island, for example. Never an accident. Well, it's been wrecked, but I, it's, uh, it, it, <laughs> You put it back together. Yeah, I have a... How many wrecks? There's been four, well, four front ends on it. Four uh, front ends. The last time... Many uh, back ends? Yeah, one. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's open up the hood, shall we? Yeah. One <laughs> back end, four front ends. Yeah, last time it wasn't even on the ground. It was on the tow truck, and they let it get loose and busted the nose on it. Is that right? Yeah. That stinks. Yeah, I did. That's the first time the whole farm was replaced. All right, but way too many smiles for this one. So now what do we have under here right now? This is a 350 that I put it put in here. It's a rebuilt 350, okay. 40 over, 400 horsepower. Roller rockers, cam, 10 to 1 compression for today's gas. This engine has 206,000 miles on it right now. And you got the original Harrison can over there, I see. Yep. And uh, radiators re is built for my specification, so it cools everything in here. I, know. I do have a backup fan. I have a lot of backup systems. I actually have two, two electrical systems. There's okay. a yeah, I see box that. here and a coil, and then one down here, a box, and then Let another me coil. Show me the other. So the other, the other box is underneath here. Okay. So one set runs it, and one's my backup. I don't like being on the side of the road. Yeah, no. And then I have parts in there. That's that's where I store a lot of parts. There's actually a half shaft back here, yeah, and a water pump, and a whole bunch of stuff down in here. So we carry parts. There's parts underneath my seat. There's parts in the back, and uh, we never leave them out of the car. We always have them with us. Let's uh, fire it, shall we? Okay. With these pipes, it's gonna have a great sound. that sound she does it does all right uh, she's been on the track we're on Indy 500 track anytime we get on a racetrack we have the side pipes off so we we're on the Indy 500 track in 2017 at the Bloomington Gold event and that those two YouTubes are on the internet too so if someone wants to hunt, hunt them down they can find them well, well we'll we'll let people hunt this video down and we'll have a good time with that yeah Steve first of all Congratulations on having your forever car and getting it. I'm so happy that your mom trusted you and made dad make sure you get the loan all through. And you've been a great, unbelievable caretaker of this car. What an amazing story. Thanks so much for being on my car. Hey, thank you, Lou.